Hey everyone, Bigfoot here. Today, we're gonna cover the ultralight sleeping pad that I chose for my upcoming FKT attempt of the Superior Hiking Trail. Now finding the right sleeping pad is a really important element of not just sleeping comfortably, but also making sure that you have the right sleeping pad for the temperature that you're going to endure on the trail. Now, since I am doing a through hike during the middle of summer, the R value is not as important. So I first started looking into pads, thinking about maybe I'll go and try to save some ounces and go into an ultra light sleeping pad. Not so great with the comfortability, but really nice with the weight. And tried it a little bit, didn't really like how comfortable it was, and it's really important for me to get a really good night's rest. So what I end up landing on is the shorter version of my NeoAir x Lite pad. I went with this for a couple different reasons. Number one, I absolutely love the Thermarest NeoAir x Lite. I sported it last year on my Appalachian Trail through hike. I slept great on it my entire 100 days on the trail, and it works. So that made a lot of sense. Number two, it was just really light. So this is the shorter version. And what this works out to with dimensions is basically it is the same width of the NeoAir x Lite, the same thickness, which is two and a half inches. Uh, the width, by the way, is 20 inches. But instead of this being 72 inches in length, which the regular pad is at, this is 47 inches. So this will fit your torso. Now the really cool part about this pad is the weight. The weight of this thing is actually lower than what Thermarest claims. The claimed weight on this is eight ounces. What I got with the actual little sack that comes with, which I won't be using by the way, I'll repackage this, but comes in at 7.6 ounces, but without this, checks in at 7.1 ounces. So 7.1 ounces, my regular NeoAir x Lite actually checks in at 12.1 ounces. So I'm actually saving five total ounces in weight, which is pretty sweet. Now let's take this and do a side-by-side -side comparison of the length so you can kind of get an idea of what you're getting into if you wanted to go with the shorter version. Now, as you can see here, the NeoAir x Lite short version is shorter, obviously, much shorter than the regular version. And uh, just to kind of give you an idea with me sleeping on this, what this would look like normally for me. And this last weekend, I actually took the shorter version out and slept on this. This will go just past my torso. Just like this. And what I'll be using actually is my sit pad or my butt pad that I have with my pack. Now this is another change I'm making with my gear. This is the foam pad that z Packs gives you on your Nero. And uh, I had some issues with this when I did my Father's Day weekend hike that uh, this pad started to actually creep up and uh, moved about an inch, inch and a half up. It caused a little issue with uh, my back and irritating my skin. And uh, I wanted to go with something that would be able to fit that back of the NeoAir pad just a little bit better. And this was actually something that one of my subscribers recommended and I took him up on it. I cut my Thermarest z Light here into basically just uh, two sections and it actually fits perfectly on my Nero. So this will be sitting back on my Nero. And then at night, I will set this just down on the bottom and have this underneath the bottom of my legs here and uh, this weekend I actually slept honestly I felt like I slept a little bit better than I did on my regular pad and on the AT I actually found times that I would actually dangle my feet off of the pad it was more comfortable for me that way especially if I was doing some bigger mileage and this actually felt more comfortable for me to actually have my legs at a lower elevation than the rest of my body so I'm really excited about it uh, I think it's gonna work out great and I'm able to cut five ounces off my base weight. So what I'll show you is actually what it's gonna look like in my actual tent here, my Soulplex, so you can kind of get an idea what it will look like when I uh, set up my entire sleep system. All right guys, so this is what it's gonna look like while I'm in my Soulplex here. So I got my uh, pad here at the very bottom 
I'll be using my stuff sack for my clothing as my pillow, just like I did on the trail. And, uh, and I'll just sleep down here nice, comfortably. So again, I uh, used this this weekend in my uh, duplex tent while we were out there on the Boundary Waters and uh, just worked out great. The space in here, of course, of the Soplex is smaller than the space that I had in my duplex, but I don't need the extra space with what I'm doing out on the trail. And uh, it takes a little bit of getting used to going from the duplex to the Soplex, but uh, to drop eight ounces or more in weight between the two, I uh, definitely feel really confident that I made the right decision. So anyway, this is what I'm going with. Really confident and uh, feel great about my decisions of my sleep system, uh, my tent, and my pack so far. Next Tuesday, I'm going to share with you guys my new quilt that I'm going with. And uh, we're, uh, we're almost there. We're about three weeks. I can't wait. Uh, Thursday. The 13th of July, I'm going to do an overview of every single piece of gear that's going to be made up of my six pound base weight that I'm bringing with me on the trail. It's probably going to be somewhere in that six pound, uh, 6.1 pound base weight. So check that out on Thursday. Thanks everyone. As always, stay tuned for more sightings here on our channel, follow Bigfoot, and uh, I will see you guys next week.